Hey guys, this is going to be another video continuing our series on foundation application. And um, I kind of wanted, I had some requests on different kinds of mineral makeup. I'm going to go ahead and get my things out of the way there. Um, I had some requests on different kinds of mineral application techniques, and I like um, the L'Oreal, their natural minerals and things like that, and just different different formulations and stuff. And I will get to that. I just kind of wanted to go ahead and do get the liquid uh, explanations out of the way. So today I wanted to do it um, uh, applying it with your fingertips, which seems pretty self-explanatory, but I have had some some kind of specific questions about it and so I thought for me I feel like when you apply makeup with your fingertips I think you can achieve a really full coverage look as opposed to sometimes what you get with a brush um, like for example with the stippling approach we talked about um, that is kind of one of those where you can get a really sheer coverage but I feel like when it's going from the container to your fingers and right on your face, um, you can really, you have a lot of control with your fingertips, and in that sense, you can get um, quite a bit of coverage as well. So, uh, I'm going to use a foundation called, it's from uh, Alme, it's the Line Smoothing Makeup. Uh, it's supposed to be kind of hydrating. It says hydrates all day, SPF 15. My color is warm, 280. And this was um, something that I used like. I used more during the winter months last year. It was heavily recommended to me by someone on MakeupTalk.com and they just really sang the praises of this uh, foundation. So I wanted to just kind of go back to that and show you how you can get a pretty, uh, quite a bit of coverage with, um, with your foundation. So to start with, uh, go ahead and just, you know, you want to get some on your fingertips. Uh, like so, and I go ahead and dot it on the places where I know I want more coverage to start with. So, um, kind of around my nose and also around my eye area. And I'm just going to start there for now, and I'm going to blend outward from from basically the center of my face. Okay, so I'm blending kind of down to my blending down to my chin, blending right around my eye. And and you see the it's it's the whole concept of like when you put eyeshadow on the first place that your brush touches is generally that's the spot where the most product gets and then you blend outward and so here that's sort of the concept the first place that my foundation touched right around my eye area that was a place I knew where I wanted more coverage I wanted more product to be and so then I'm just blending it outward. Okay, it's 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 really simple. Um, you know, it's I just kind of wanted to show people this because it's like if you don't have a sponge or you don't have a brush handy, you can still get a good look, you know, foundation wise, just with your fingertips. So we started out, we blended around our nose and we kind of got that down to our chin, blended around our eyes and out this way. So, but we still do want that touch of coverage elsewhere. So I'm just going to kind of dot it on my forehead and also a little bit on my jaw. You can see I'm not putting much. I think the camera and the lights are kind of washing me out <laughs> really badly right now, but um, hopefully you can just see this is not a tough process. Um, what you do want to make sure of, though, is when you're blending, you, I mean, this can be, is one of those things that can be easier to do with a brush, is when you're getting down here around your jawline, really make sure you're blending that right up to your ear, your jaw, and right up to your to your hairline area and then so you kind of want to give your face another look and one reason why it's kind of it can be nice to do your go ahead and do your foundation before concealer is because sometimes you'll find out oh well the foundation covered whatever the flaw was and I don't need to go over that again with my concealer so I just keep that in mind with the order of your products I mean mineral makeup is kind of a different ball game but um, when you're talking liquids, sometimes the liquid foundation can take care of things like uh, that you may use concealer for later. For example, I have like a blemish or two right over here, but the foundation seems to cover them well enough that I don't need to go over them again with concealer. So then once you've pretty much gotten over your whole face, um, I'm going to switch my light down here a little bit just a second. 
see if that, t I don't know, it's still kind of washing out. But um, just give another look to your entire face, see whatever areas you might want to put a little more. For me, it's going to be the corner of my eye, so I'm just, you know, dipping my finger back in here. And, and it, as you can see, you've got tons of control when you use your finger. And it's just really easy, I think, to get a full coverage look this way. Can you get full coverage when you use a typical foundation brush or a stippling brush? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's just the fact that this method, um, it's going directly to your face, I guess is, is the whole thing. It, you're not having that middleman there. And um, this can be one of the easier ways, I think, to apply foundation and still get a really good full coverage look. Just pay close attention to around your eyebrows, around your hairline, and your jawline because you really want that to look seamless. You know what I mean? So, um, anyway, I feel like I should have more to say about this, but it's really just as simple as that. Um, just as far as different types of liquid foundation and the ease that you will have in applying with your fingers, it really doesn't matter. Um, more liquidy or more creamy. This is the one that I'm using is a more creamy formulation and um, it's just basically your choice but uh, I hope this was helpful. I know it's kind of like one of those things maybe some of you are watching be like uh duh how you apply it with your fingers but um, I mean there just are some things to keep in mind with it like you know carefully blending and um, you know, just make sure it really is blended in. You don't want to see a streak of a finger or anything like that. And a lot of that comes down to how closely does it really match your natural skin tone. Which will, I mean, that, you're giving yourself a real leg up if your foundation truly does match well. Um, you will struggle if you're trying, you know, you got your fingers on there and you're trying to blend a darker shade onto much lighter skin. That's going to be a problem. So just keep that in mind and um, just keep watching for more uh, techniques on foundation. Thanks for watching.